<laughs> Yo! Here we are. We're back. Back from back. another fucking hiatus. Yeah. I didn't even think... Let, uh, I'm not even telling people that we have a schedule with this. Yeah, we don't. I just say this is, hey, whenever we want to talk shit yeah. and look like fools, and then that's what we do. Yeah, basically that's what happens. Yeah, man. This is uh, cool. I, yeah, I do enjoy doing this, though. Yeah, it's fun. I do want to keep it. I yeah. do want to keep doing it. That's what I'm saying. It's, um, I don't know, it's cool. I mean, podcasts are huge. And yeah, they're just, they're just fun. To, it's fun to talk shit. It's fun to talk shit. Get people in, you know. Yeah, and you have cool guests. Yeah, and then you, you know that's that's. That's what I'm cool. saying. It's like it's not worth fucking deading. Yeah, I um. You know, just do it when you can. Yeah, it's a. Uh, because I had a I had a crazy doctor's appointment. Oh, I don't no. know if I should talk about this. Cause <laughs> why? Because <why? laughs> uh, I've been nervous. That I've had a fucking lump on my testicle. Oh, no. And it's been there a long time, you know? And, like, originally, I had this chick doctor. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> yeah, it was, like, my primary doctor. And she was, like, a good-looking chick. And she, like, I, like, showed it to her. <laughs> and she's, like, feeling around. And she's, like, I don't really feel anything, you know? Like, I'm... She's like, everything looks great down there. And I'm like, yo, is she hitting on me right now? <laughs> tell me how great you think it is. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what else can you tell me? You know? <laughs> so, I mean, that was like years ago that I did it. But then lately, um, there's been a, a little bit more pain, hmm. you know? Like like during like sex, like the... The slapping. Yeah, like the, your your balls themselves hurt. Like the nut slapping during yeah. sex. It's like <laughs> you know? And like that that was like there's a lot more like adjustments that yeah. I have to make. And I was like, oh shit. So I, I went, I saw like a urologist and he's like he, now this is like a dude. So I'm like, all right, this guy probably knows what he's doing. You and know? I was like, all right, gross. Yeah, I was like, don't tell me everything looks great. <laughs> No, fuck it. <laughs> hey, know. it looks great. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> don't fucking compliment my dick now. <laughs> um, but like, you know, he basically said that like, because it's weird. Like, if I describe it, like, you know, like a testicle looks like an egg, mm. right? And yeah. like at the, like the like top or whatever, the egg there's, tip. Like, there's like yeah, like a cyst or something on it. Oh, you fuck. know. So they're sending me for a sonogram today, and like, like Marissa, she's she's funny because she like she's like you better fucking wear underwear during your sonogram, because like <laughs> she she doesn't want anyone else to see my dick, you know. Like, like babe, this she, is this she's like there's probably gonna be like nurses there. She's like that junk is mine. Like you better wear underwear and just like drop a nut out. Like babe, this is like I don't want you to look at my boyfriend's dick. Oh, your boyfriend's dying. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, I i well i think i'm like okay right now because like the, the doctor is like you're if you had testicular cancer and you're telling me you've had this thing for fucking years you would have been dead already yeah you would, you would have been gone like hmm. testicular cancer is like really fast acting is fucking, it yeah like if you have it like you know you got to work on that shit i was right gonna I was, I was gonna ask what are the symptoms just like just ball pain well, yeah, like the way he was telling me, it's like it wouldn't it wouldn't be like a lump on the outside. It would you feel like hardness on the like in the testicle. Oh, fuck, you know. So like this dude, he really fucking squeezed hard, dude. He was like, <laughs> he was he was searching for that fucking hardness, and I, I was like, come on, man, like, <laughs> like, fucking vice grip hands, you know. Hey, I just worked on my car. Yeah. <laughs> This guy's like me, a fucking mechanic. Let me check your sack out. Yeah. I just changed my oil. It's, it's got like fucking, you know, butcher hands or something. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going on a fucking sonogram later. That's why we had to miss one, you know. Mm. I had the doctor's appointment. Damn, dude. That's, yeah. um, I think, yeah. I mean, if they said that it'll be all right, then you, you're probably yeah. all right. You know what I mean? You know, they, they're, they just sent like, all right, well, do the sonogram to check it out and see what's going on. Like, you know, maybe it's something, maybe it's not, you know, but like he basically told me like the cancer, like yeah. you don't have it, you know? 
So like I was already like like this like a load was off my shoulders, you know? Cuz I was like uh, oh, I had this thing for years and I was like it never fucking hurt, you know. Yeah, it's 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 scary going into it when you you have something like uh-oh. Yeah. If you go to the doctors and you don't know it, it's like actually something alarming. Yeah. I feel like I've been lucky just with like I mean, we're still young, so yeah. You know, it's it's uh, uh like health isn't. I'm not saying it's not a priority, but it's like not a pressing issue. Yeah, I think you should always take care of yourself, obviously. But it's not like going to the doctors isn't like a regular thing in our lives. You know right. what I mean? And like, I'm I'm like a little closer to forty than mm. you are, where it's like, all right, you got to start like, you know, really taking care of yourself around yeah. forty. You know, like that's when you're supposed to get the fucking. Yeah, the finger up the ass and and like really like you know, <laughs> like my union gives out a a full body scan, but you have to be forty to get it. Yeah. you know, like that. I feel like forty is like all right. That's the benchmark. From you know? from what I hear, um, from what I hear, like forty is the age where you really see like who's been doing the right stuff for the like, for the past twenty years right. and who hasn't. Yeah, because I think I feel like with the human body is like. You can get away with a lot. It's like really resilient. It's oh a, yeah, it bounces it, back quick. It's a fucking super durable thing. Yeah. But when shit starts to break, it breaks hard. Yeah. Like your body's like, nah, I've been I've been holding it out for you yeah. for like twenty years. I'm fucking done, dude. That's what I'm. Now saying. you have this, yeah. that, and that wrong with you. Yeah. The forever. Re- the recovery time, you know, in your forties, like I feel like that everything just takes longer now. Yeah. You know, like in your twenties, like you know, you fucking. Like, I think I played a lacrosse game, you know, when I was, like, 18 or something with a broken wrist. Yeah. You know? like Yeah, I that's just, not happening now. Yeah. Like, dude, like, I fucking just toughed it out, you know? It was like, all right, whatever. There's a little pain there. And, co- and coaches tell you to do that. Yeah. So, like, yeah. for sure, coaches tell you, like, yeah, just tough it out. Yeah. You know? And, you, you know, then it's like <clears throat> those things kind of come back to haunt you, you fucking years later. I, you um... Know? Yeah, man. It's uh, I remember when I was like, I was like twenty. I went for a move. It's called a calf cutter, a calf splice, whatever. And I, I went, I went to do it, and the guy like hipped out the opposite way, and my whole knee like <laughs> boom just blew up. Yeah. And I was off the mat for like a week, and I was I was ready to go. Yeah. And the same thing with the same move happened when I was like twenty five, twenty six, which isn't old at all. Yeah. But there were, it, it, dude, it took like six months. And wow. I was like, what's going on, dude? I went to like a city MD and I, I was like, hey, I did this. I did the same thing like, I don't know, five years ago. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, man. Like, it's taken way more longer, way longer to heal. So it, I, I think I actually heard something this time. He's like, nah, you're just, you're just old. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah. you're, just, you're just getting old, and I was yeah, like, nah, "Fuck you!" Here, you know, you might as well give up. <laughs> you're just old. It's um, yeah, that's it's it's wild, man. Actually, I I had um, when I was working for Peapod, I remember I jerked off one night and blood was in the car. Oh yeah, dude, that happened. To and me. I was like, dude, we've like, talked about this before. Yeah, I mean, never on the podcast, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was fucking terrified, dude. Dude, that's, that's scary. A, that's a terrifying moment. That's scary. And as um, fuck. I went to a doctor and I was like, "Am I dying? Yeah. Am I gonna die tomorrow? Because that's what it looks like." Yeah. And he was like, well, "How ver- vigorously do you jerk off?" <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what I I went right on Google after I was like, "Fucking, I gotta find out like what's <laughs> fucking going on." And then like after I looked it up, it was just kind of like. Yeah, you basically jerked off too hard. Yeah. You were they just call, like really going at it. They call it a one-off. A one-off. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, and he's like, that's eh, just a one-off. I'm like, I'm coming blood. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I, that's what I don't get is like, it's just like, how can everyone not be taking this seriously? Like, yeah. I'm coming blood, dude. <laughs> that's like that's like something in a nightmare. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, stop, t- stop tugging it so hard. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's I'm like, sorry. Maybe you do some foreplay with yourself, yeah. you know, like slow down a it's little like, bit. <laughs> take your sack and like, ah, yeah, how'd you catch you, catch you, yeah, dude, dude, like that, that is a scary fucking moment. I um, what was I gonna say? I was in Mexico. Oh yeah, um, I didn't even know you went to Mexico. Yeah, I was in Mexico for my cousin's wedding, and um. I mean, just going back to recovery, like, 
I wasn't doing blow or anything. Yeah. I was just drinking. I had some edibles, just like a regular thing. Right. A regular. That's like that's like a regular night. Yeah, that's a party weekend. You know, yeah. like going away for a wedding. You know, destination wedding. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. And um, yeah, dude. Like that third day of like drinking all day, all night. Yeah. Like I got home, and I just do. Like I went to like an anxiety attack. Wow. And I was like. Well, I was like, how am I going to go? How am I going to fly home? I'm not going to be able to do this flight. Like, yeah. I, I had, like, and I had calmed myself down. I was like, you've been drinking, like, all day for yeah, three like days. Animal. Yeah. Yeah. And it, I'm like, really? It affects you? And I had to talk to myself, like, well, it does now, Trav. Like, yeah. that's that's what it is now. And you're like, fuck. Dude, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. When you really try to, like, drink like it's fucking spring ba- break in college, like, yeah. when you're, like, mid 30s, like, that doesn't. That no. doesn't happen anymore. That does man. not take. Like, yeah, you're just like it's it just like you tr- like try and like I think you get like grossed out by it almost. Yeah, like, you know, like you like take like a sip on like like day two or something, day three, and you're like, oh, I don't really want to do this, and you're like yeah. forcing yourself to yeah. really like get drunk. I had to I had to really force myself to kick myself in the gear. It was yeah. tough. It was like, and then I was like, oh, you have to because it's like right. the, fl- the third day. But um, I felt bad for this one guy because I was like, I'm doing pretty bad right now. Yeah. And I looked across the pool bar and there was a dude. He had like that insulin patch. Oh, yeah, yeah, The one yeah. that like I think it delivers or maybe it's like a, it just reads your yeah. insulin levels or yeah, something. Yeah, no, it delivers shit. It's, it hooks up to an app on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. So deliver, yeah, I guess. But yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. And he's just like, you could tell like he was a healthy man. Like you could tell he's had this his whole life. Yeah. And he's had to take health precautions his whole life because he was in shape. But like, I mean, he was balding. He just had like like date bags over his, under his eyes. Like, he yeah. looked like he was like. Like a healthy man who was dying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was just like, shit, dude. Like this guy, I'm complaining about my shit over here. Yeah. This guy's just been dogging it his whole life because he has no choice other yeah. than to, you know. Dude, I was working with a guy and he had one of those those things. Like yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing him more and more now. And like, I guess it was like malfunctioning. And yeah. there's like a needle tip in there. And it like fucking stabs you and gives you the insulin. And, like, he was just getting, like, fucking overdosed with, like, insulin. Oh, shit. And he had to, like, <laughs> you know, he had to leave work to, like, go to the hospital. He's like, yeah, like, if you keep fucking getting doses of insulin, you'll, like, die. Shit. Yeah. What do you think? What, you, what do you think? You think you would die if you had? Yeah, too much insulin. Too much insulin? I think so. This is just, just, I mean, no, it's not, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think it's, it's just sugar, right? Or no? I think it's, like, what... Like the thing that you, like processes sugar, yeah, right. I, I, so I have no idea. You know, and now I seem retarded. So people exp- <laughs> people explain it to me, and I, I I get it, and then it just goes, and then I I don't retain the information. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, if it's not like really about me, I don't care. <laughs> Is it happening to you? <laughs> if it's happening to me, then I don't care. Yeah. If it's not happening to me, then fucking shut up. Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> I, I, dude, I think that's what's great about getting in your thirties. You become like completely okay with your flaws. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, nah, I only care about me. Right. Yeah. yeah like the, the flaws. Yeah. It's just like this is who I am now. Like, like you know, like, yeah, like you tried to change it once or twice and it didn't fucking work. Yeah. You know? Like, like is- relationship with chicks, I'm very affectionate. I, I, yeah, me and my girlfriend, we do, we're we're great. But yeah. I'm talking about like little things where it's like. Oh, I'm going to leave, and I'm just not going to say goodbye to anyone here. Right. I'm just going to fucking go. Shady dip. Yeah, or if I don't want to do something, I was like, well, I don't want to do that. And yeah. people are like, what do you mean you don't want to do it? I'm like, I just don't want to fucking do it. I'm just right. not, not going to do it. Actually. Yeah, I, I need to learn to be better at that because I say yes to a lot of things that I don't want to do. And mm. then, like, in the moment when I'm doing it, I'm, like, mad at everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've seen you in situations like that, yeah, and you're, like you're just like someone will be like, "Hey, Hugh, like what's going on?" Like, I don't know what the fuck do you think's going yeah. on? <laughs> and they're like, "Man, he's he's being a dick tonight." I'm like, like, I'm like, I just don't think he wants to be here. <laughs> That's probably what it is. Yeah, dude, I do that all the time. Like, <laughs> like my friends will be like, "Hey, let's get like a fantasy baseball league going this year," and I'll be like, "Oh yeah, sounds cool." Like, you know, because I was like, "Oh, I was with my." friends and then like week six they're like you you got to change your roster you're not keeping up with the fantasy baseball league and i'm like well this is fucking stupid <laughs> like i don't care 
Yeah. About fantasy like, baseball. You're taking this way too seriously. You're just rooting for some 21-year-old fucking Puerto Rican kid. Yeah. And, like, I just could care less. Like, I just want to see the Yankees win. I was um I was at a group chat with my high school friends at one time. And I remember they were, I left because they were just talking. I'm like, I don't think we're on the same level of person anymore. Yeah. They all became adults, and I just kept not being an adult. Right. And they were like, fellas, fellas, I got something on my mind. Should I go with the beige couch or the powder blue? And it was like, oh, it's really going to tie the room together. And I was yeah. like, I don't <laughs> fucking care about this. <laughs> Shut up. Fucking powder blue couch. I know, dude. I'm in a group text with like my friends from college. Mm. And like, I swear to God, like it's just every other month I'm congratulating someone on having a baby. Yeah. And it's just like they're up to like their third, fourth, like, you know, like some of these guys, like they, you know, two two or three of them, I think, have like yeah. three kids. And I'm just like, yo, like I, I'm yeah. just not where you're at right now. I have to be fucking... Three kids. I three kids is a lot. You know? My cousins were on the trip. Obviously, cousins' wedding, and then two of my cousins. We haven't seen them in a while because yeah. they each have four kids each, and obviously, kids weren't on the vacation. Right. And I was looking at them. I looking at them. I was like, "Damn, this is probably the last time they're gonna have a fun time like this right. in probably like ten years." I know. Like that's just shit. Yeah. That sucks, dude. I know. It's and it's like when you start having kids, you know, and you, you pop out like three or four. Yeah. Like basically for like eighteen years, you're like stuck. Yeah. You know. I mean, legally stuck. Yeah. <laughs> They're like still gonna wander stuck. around for another like fifteen. Yeah. 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 You <laughs> like, know, if they're anything like me, yeah. you know, <laughs> like, if, they're, if they're like us, you're they're like thirty eight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like mom, pick up more pop tarts. <laughs> mom, got like twenty bucks or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. Mom, I'm drunk, but like I'm I'm far away from my apartment. Can I like crash yeah. at your house? Like they still gotta see your fucking ass. I know, I know. But like, I, you know, when they're old enough to like start babysitting themselves, you yeah. know, like that's like okay, because then it's just like, all right, mommy wants to go out. You yeah, know, dad, mom and dad want to go out. Yeah, you know, and it's like you have like a 16 year old or like. I think that's like the legal age where they can like watch themselves. Yeah, like 16, 17, something, something like that. that. I mean, I'm leaving my kid at. 12 yeah 12 is young dude i'm gonna be like well dude just you know you're not gonna stick a fork that, in an that's outlet that's like seventh grade <laughs> <laughs> i could uh, you could do seventh grade i, I, I mean know. i was i was by seventh grade i had already drank beers i had already hooked up with a chick and like all right i'll trust this guy on his own i was like eighth grade but then you gotta start getting worried about like Oh, are they going to throw a party while right, we're gone? Right. You know, like then, then they get of age of that, and you're like, "Yeah, I want to leave you alone, but like, not yeah, if you're going to trust you. Not yeah. if you're going to invite like a hundred psychos to my I house. No. Yeah. And it's, it's not even going to be up to them. Right. You know what I mean? Like, dude, it was always crazy when like a freshman or a sophomore had a party. The word and, gets like, out. You were a senior, and like, yeah, you know, all the seniors just show up, and like, yeah, dude, yeah. like barbecues get thrown in pools. And, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> like, fuck, like horrible shit where it's like these parents are coming back and they're fucking pissed dude it's um yeah man like i remember i had a party when i was in high school and i was a sophomore so i mean that's that was when it was like just facebook right and the word still got around yeah. so i can't even imagine what it'd be like today yeah like the word got around and like 170 people showed up it was only supposed to be like 50 yeah but yeah, and I had like um, one of those decks. What's that? One of those decks? It's made of like, like recycled material. Oh, I it's it's, know. it's not like a tough material. It's yeah, not meant yeah. to have 170 people on it. Is right. what, oh, yeah. Is what I'm saying. And the whole deck like dipped in. Holy and, shit! Yeah, and then it like <laughs> it rained the night before my parents came home. Yeah, and I was like, I didn't have people over, and they're like, "There's a fucking lake on the deck." Like, have you? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck happened to the deck, dude? Yeah. And they're like, it's probably because you had too many kids here, and they yeah. just, like, sunk the deck in. Yeah, I had a party when I was a freshman in college, actually, and I invited my college friends, uh, like, from the lacrosse team, and I had my high school friends, and I thought it was going to be, like, cool. Mm. And, dude, like... I guess like the college seniors were just like, yeah, you're a fucking freshman, you know, like mm. still. So like they like fucking 
fucked up my house bad oh, like no. yo they stole all like the pictures of me as a kid and like <laughs> that's a fucking <laughs> dick bro. yo like my mom was like so upset like she had like pictures of me out you know and they fucking like stole them or gonna like make t-shirts or something you oh know? my god and like i had to like fucking tell them i was like yo dude i don't fucking care that you stole them like just like my mom's upset you know like, yeah. can you like fucking stop can you please just give me the pictures back my one yeah. friend got dude. They ripped up like in Levittown. They had like these. They they planted all these trees. Yeah. Like on like you know like you have the sidewalk and then there's like like that little piece of grass. Yeah, on. yeah. So they fucking planted trees there. My house to this day is still the only house without trees because these guys <laughs> fucking ripped them up. Like dude, like they were like fucking big college seniors. Yeah. Like they just ripped trees out of the fucking ground. And the t- the town was like, yeah, we're not coming back. Yeah, my mom was like, yeah, these fucking kids they rip trees out of the ground like can i get some trees they're like nope you only get two <laughs> <laughs> you only fucking get two trees what town of fucking love town my one friend um leon went to jail for six months because oh, i didn't go to the party yeah but it was on the news like this chick i'm not gonna i'll leave her name out but she had her friends over and then she had a brother the brother was in a hardcore band okay. so it was all those kids yeah. ended up coming too and dude like her house got fucked up like they ripped the plumbing out of the wall oh my god they took a dump on the brother's bed shit they like tossed the drum set like down the stairs and it was just like like dude ruined this house like wow. thousands and thousands of dollars yeah that's fucked and up. she blamed it on my friend leon and you know it, yeah. the, the cop i guess you know, america's a very racist town so, yeah, so, yeah so they were like yeah it was him and he went to jail for like six months holy shit six months or a year but it's like how could one kid do all that fucking damage you know yeah and like like really like ripping the plumbing out of the wall that's fucking brutal because i remember like when he got sentenced i was like wait what I, 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 it was six months or a year. Yeah. And I was like, wait, he's going to jail for that? Holy There's no fuck. way. Yeah. I was like, I wasn't even at that party. And I know Leon didn't do that. Like, I know. Yeah. Like, okay, maybe he fucking, like, threw something at the wall. Like, right. You know, like, right. you know, I don't know. Did something, or like, he maybe did something crazy, you know? Yeah, but, but like, like, ripped the plumbing out of the wall. Dude. Like, fucking. no, he didn't, dude. But yeah, yeah. that's just what happened. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate because he came back. He came back a different man. Like, you oh, know, yeah. Like, you know, like, you know, when your friend gets out of prison and then yeah. he comes back because he's not the only friend I've had that like went to prison and then, you know, we had to like rehabilitate him right. to society. And um, yeah, like he's like, oh, there's this party going. He, di- he didn't go to parties for like a long time. Wow. Because he was just like, no, I'm just yeah. not. I, I would. Same thing, dude. Like I got arrested on two New Year's Eve's. Like fucking, <laughs> that's how you do New Year's Eve. Though. Yeah, dude, I got arrested on two New Year's Eves. Fucking, I think it was 2011 and 2013. Yeah, and I haven't been out on New Year's Eve like since. Yeah, like because yo, it's just like if you fucking something like that happens to you, like where it's like a big fucking life changing moment. Yeah, you know, like I just got a fucking TV. Like I didn't, you know, go to jail, but yeah. like. You know, like the whole, I had to like go through fucking court and get lawyers and shit. It was very expensive. And it's yeah, just like, dude. yo, like even the first one, like, like, um, that was like a fight. And like, yeah. I, I ended up beating up like, like, uh, an off duty cop, <laughs> you know? So like when the, when like the cops ended up coming to that fucking scene, he just flashed his badge and all of a sudden I'm in the wrong, you know, yeah. like the like, cops are not going to believe that guy over you know, some fucking, what, I was 25? Yeah. You know, like yeah. a 25-year-old kid uh, drunk on New Year's Eve. Like, they're not going to care what you have to say. Yeah. So it's just like, and still I had to get a lawyer, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's a fucking thing now. And we proved that guy was in the wrong, you know, and it was just like, fuck it. Like, I'm just not going out, you know, like on that day. I um A fight's scary because a fight, like, you can someone can die. <laughs> yeah. And um I don't think you realize it in high school because I don't think you have... I mean, I guess some kids do. I didn't. Yeah, you're but, not really aware of your mortality at 18. No, I just think, like, I didn't have the power to kill someone when right. I was, like, 15, 16. And then you, you start to become an adult, and you start fucking leveling people. Yeah. No, You know, you start mopping people up. Or, you know, you get your fucking ass kicked real bad, and you're like, oh, like, everyone's way stronger now. Yeah. Like, everyone can really fuck someone up. Yeah. Or, but, yeah, especially, like... Uh, 
like 2004, you know, like mm. I, I was like a senior in high school and like MMA started becoming huge. Yeah, it's like when it started. Yeah. yeah. So like now everyone's training, you know. Yeah, now like now people not only are people training left and right, yeah. but like jujitsu and like Bro, the like, martial arts as a whole, they've all gotten way way think better. About in like the 80s. You know, like no. No, there was no one trained in fucking like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Like the gyms weren't there. Yeah. You know, like if anything, you had like a dude that learned karate and he would yeah. do the stupid stance and like fucking people wouldn't take him seriously. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, unless you're like of the upper echelon of karate. Yeah. Like I'm talking like the top 10 percent. I don't know, man. Right. So if, if someone shoots in on you, gets you to the ground. Yeah. Or like, even if they're like Muay Thai, like Muay Thai. I think I, I think a, just say let's just say your average kid who yeah. has, does Muay Thai three days a week has been doing it for like five years. Versus, that kid probably just that kid could would crush that guy would probably yeah. crush a karate guy. Right, probably. That, that's what I'm saying. In like the '80s, they probably had like karate gyms open. Like that was yeah. it. You know. Yeah. So it was just like if you were a wrestler. Like you might have had like an advantage, or like if you like somehow took like boxing courses or something. Boxing like, badass, you know, like you you would have had an advantage in those fights. But like, dude, in like the mid two thousands, it's like you just started seeing guys with cauliflower ear at bars, and it's just like stay away from that. Fucking yeah, that guy will fucking like fuck the, you up, dude. Yeah, it's um, I remember there was one time my friend we were at RVC on the train platform, the fight breaks out. My friend got in it, and he he didn't want to get in it, but you know, it just it like the, the fight just grows, yeah. and if you're anywhere near it, you just get pulled into it. Oh yeah, yeah. And so he's fighting some guy, he's doing well, and then another kid like just runs up to my friend and starts hitting him in the back of that. So now he's like trying to fight him off from yeah. each side. Uh, he's my best friend, so immediately I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go do something. Yeah. And I like two step crow hopped it, and I. I last second I realized how hard that hit was gonna be, and oh, I was like, yeah. kind of pepper that back a little bit. Right. And even then, still, I like the kid who got his back. I lined him up and just whack, and he just like melted. Yeah, and just like crumpled, fell back. But then the scary part was he started like rolling. Oh my god! And he almost rolled in the train tracks. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. And then like. He he stopped like right at the edge. I was like, "Oh my god!" And I turned around, and just got fucking leveled in the <laughs> eye. <laughs> and I was trying to take I was trying to take the guy down. Yeah, he was bigger than me. I was like, yeah, "You don't want to be on the feet with someone bigger than you. It's just not where you want to be." Right. And I shoot in. And I take him down. I'm running him. I run him back into a brick wall, but I didn't see the brick wall. Yeah. And I was like, "Damn! I mean, this guy's got a sprawl on him. I can't <laughs> I can't move this guy for shit." <laughs> like. I was like, this guy's like a tree stump, and I'm just running, 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 and he is just battering my face. <laughs> and then we got, I got up, and everyone was like, Trav, your face looks bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then I walked into Casey's with like huge knots on my head, and they were oh like, we can't have you in here. Yeah. Looking like that. Like, oh, just... my God. Yeah. Dude, that's... those fights get kind of like funny sometimes. Yeah, when you like, look back at them. Yeah. But like it's just it's crazy to like fucking watch at times, you know. I um one Halloween we were dressed up as I don't know if I tell these stories and I, I previously and I tell them again. Yeah, I don't no. know if I've told this story, but I would stop you. Yeah, but um, <laughs> it was a uh, Halloween and we were dressed up as Ben Franklin, Lincoln, Washington, oh, that's and awesome. then uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, and my friend who was dressed up as Washington got jumped by the McDonald's guys. <laughs> And it was just like, we we're like, well, where's Rogers? And we turned out and it's just like George Washington getting beat up by Grimace and Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, I went to go run over, but I was like, oh, shit. that's pretty funny, actually. Okay, I'll go back. And then, and then I, I ran hard and, you know, we helped him out. But yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it was a funny sight. Dude, fucking Halloween fights were always crazy. Yeah. It's just like watching fucking people dressed up as insane shit. I had I had a stint where I just went as like a high school wrestler for like 3 years in a row. Yeah. I just would go out in spandex. <laughs> <laughs> That's a ballsy move cuz I went I did party boy uh one year and it was fucking cold. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, this is 
rough. Yeah. <laughs> this is, and then like, you know, you're young, so your friends are like dickheads. Like, nah, you got to wear the fucking costume. Right. Or else yeah. you're fucking it up. You're a loser then. Yeah. And I was like, and then you at 18 is like, I'll show them. Yeah, I'll show them. I'll, then, I'll, I'll put just, the spandex back yeah, on. And I'm just naked in a tuxedo bow tie. And then I did uh, Green Man from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's a good one. So I, I did like spandex for like four years straight. Like, <laughs> it was just like, that's what I did. I feel like our generation of like, no, no, our generation of girls definitely fought more. Yeah, I remember like when I first got into girls high, were like brutal, dude. Like our I, girls, the girls in Calhoun from like, like the t- the duration that I was in high school would like viciously fight in the hallways, yeah. and it was like Jesus Christ. And like seeing that as a freshman, you're like, I better keep my fucking head on a swivel in this place. Yeah. Because I'll just get beat up in the hallway. <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> there were some girls that, like, really fucking did damage to each other. Like, I think one chick ended up getting, like, arrested over a fight at high school. Like, she, like, carry like, a fucking knife on her. You know, like, they yeah. were fucking crazy. Like uh, that, that's a Levittown move, knives. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude. That's like that's a your town thing. Yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, Marissa's told me some stories. She's fucking. She's she's got some people good, you know. She she she, she stabbed someone. She, no, no, no. She's fucking thrown down though. Like she like I think like a car full of kids like yeah. like jumps like her sister or oh, something sh- like that. Marissa. Ugh. And then, like, Marissa found them and, like, beat up half the car. Yo, Marissa would not, <laughs> Marissa would not be the one you want to find. Yeah, dude. dude. She fucking throws down. If like, you were a chick. I, she told me a story where I think she uh, she broke some chick's nose and had to, like, go through court for all that, you know. What do you think would, what do you think would make Mo- Marissa more angry in a fight? If someone fucked her boyfriend or... Or if someone like beat up her sister, fuck the boyfriend. Yeah, probably. That seems to be the top thing for her. Yeah, she she's uh, that would drive her fucking insane. <laughs> Yo, that, I would, she, I've never seen her anything but like, like oh I've had some drinks and I'm in a happy mood. I've never that's the only version of Marissa I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, but like you could tell there's there's a darkness no. behind those eyes. Yeah. Is yeah, it? dude. We told the story where, it's like, like I think it was like the first show I ever brought her to. She almost fought some fucking. Oh, chick. you told me yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, we told that story on like one of the earlier episodes. But like, I was just like, oh, like she's serious. Like, I I thought like, oh yeah, like cute little chick. Like she can't be like that crazy. Yeah. Like, and then uh, I saw that, and I was like, oh yeah, she's she, she like if I got into a fight, I think she would just jump in. That's a, that's a ride or die though. That's yeah. pretty cool. I've never dated a fighter. Yeah. I've never dated a fighter. She she definitely knows how to hit. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because she's skinny, but yeah. those those skinny chicks fight to the brink. Yeah. Skinny people fight to the brinks. What is that? Like it's just you just don't have body fat, so you're like, I don't care. I I'll got just, yeah. I, 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 get, I just there's nothing but like muscle and bone here, so I just I just absorb hits better. I feel like f- like f- bigger people like like quit more f- like earlier. In yeah. Fights. Like there's more weight so you get tired quicker. Yeah. Um yeah, dude. Cause yeah, I, I think skinny that's that skinny tall that seems to be like anytime I was squaring up with someone who was like skinny and tall. Right. Like, it was gonna be a fight and then it and then it is. Yeah. It's um Yeah, I've never dated a fighter, man. Yeah. I in college I dated a chick who talked a lot of shit. Right. And I hated her. So I was <laughs> You, couldn't, you dated her and hated her. I couldn't stand her fucking guts, dude. Oh, my God. I fucking hated her. Yeah. Because she was just such a bitch. And she thought she was better than people. I'm like, you're a fucking nerd, really. Yeah. I don't care how much money you make later in life. You're a loser. Yeah. And you have no friends. And you're probably always... And I've never met up with her again later in life, but we talked. And it's like, oh, cool. So now you're at the stage where you do have money. Yeah. And you do have this really nice house, but you still have no friends. Exactly. <laughs> have fun rotting in a big house alone. Those, those are the people that like make friends with like one other couple and then like that's it. They yeah. have like game night. Yeah. <laughs> like if, like she, well, let's play Monopoly and open a bottle of wine. Yeah. It's she's, like shut up, nerd. <laughs> she's she's strange. She's a strange chick. And um but yeah, I remember she was that was when I first started doing jujitsu and she was like, Oh, are there are there women there? And I was like, yeah, there's some. She's like, good looking. And I was like, and I knew where she was going with that. 
And I was like, no. And she went on, on the Facebook page. She found all the chicks that were going there, and two were good looking. Yeah. And then one was like older than me, and she was like, what about that one? Uh, and, I, and I was like, oh, that's that's you know that's so and so. You know, we're friends. She said, do you do you like roll around with her? And I was like, I do. And she's like. I don't fucking like that. I'll, make, I'll come in there and I'll do this and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know, man, you probably should. <laughs> you probably should go in there and, and, and go fight her. Go show her what's up. Yeah. And she came. Oh, wow. And I think that, like, it got real. Yeah. And she was standing there in front of the girl and she was like, oh, I don't want that smoke. Yeah. <laughs> and I was praying so bad that she got on the mat and just got her ass fucked up, dude. Yeah. That would have been hilarious. I would have been like, oh, the I wouldn't even. I would have coached the other girl. Yeah, hell yeah. Now, like, fucking no. Put her head in the floor. <laughs> knee on the sternum. <coughs> knee on the knee on the sternum. <laughs> Dude, it's it's funny when girls like get that like that attitude. Like, oh, I'm gonna come in here and do this and that. Like, I saw um, a video on uh, Facebook. It was like this like chick who's basically like an OnlyFans chick, yeah. you know, and she cuts hair and like you know like a bikini or fucking like underwear you know like Uh, she's half naked oh she cuts the hair in the bikini okay yeah she's like cutting dude's hair and she's like half naked you know okay and like she like when she like shaves your face she's like on top of your lap and i was like marissa what would you do if i went to a oh my god marissa would fucking (laughs) slit her throat dude (laughs) i i I showed her the video and the first thing comes out of her mouth she goes i'd throw acid all over her I was like, what? <laughs> Yo, can we one day like just try to rile Melissa oh, or Marissa up? I'm yeah. sorry. Marissa, please don't stand me. Yeah. Uh yeah, let's try to like just like but we can't make it too obvious. Yeah. Cause then she'll know we're fucking with her and she's like, I'm actually just gonna fucking leave. Yeah, no, or she'll, she or she'll hit us. She would like take it like way too serious. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, oh my I'd God. probably get hit in that scenario. <laughs> What if, what if I was like I'm trying to think like how can I get her to attack me? Oh god. <laughs> what if I would say like hey, you know, I've been cheating on my girlfriend. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I didn't think I'd like it at first and then I did it and I was like, "Wow, what a what a time." It's probably something like uh <laughs> I started seeing some girl and she's got a friend and I'm going to drag Hugh out, you know, just to like <laughs> no, 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 just, That's so bad. <laughs> and I just need to drag him out to keep the other one busy. And it's like, and listen, she'll, she'll just fucking light you up. It's like, listen, he's he knows that he's with you, so yeah. it's not going to be a problem. But like, you know, the girl that I'm seeing, her friend is going to be there, and she's just out of a relationship, and she's, you know, just because she's really horny all the time doesn't mean that Hugh's going to do it. But I'm going <laughs> to drag him anyway. It's going to be a fun night. Uh, <laughs> she'd, she'd be like, she, yeah, she would fucking not like that one. Mm-hmm. What do you think would happen uh, if uh, Marissa? Fought a girl for you, but then she lost. What do oh, you th- I'd probably jump in. You think, yeah? Yeah, I'd probably, like, like it, if if a lot of people were around, I don't know what I would do. Well, I'm saying, how do you think she would handle that psychologically? Would she be like, you know, babe, I, I, I saw something I had to fight for, and I did, and I lost, but we still love each other. Yeah. Or do you think she'd pull, like, a Joe Pesci from uh, Casino, where he's just like, he's like, yeah, if I don't kill you that day, I'll see you at the bank and I'll crack your fucking head open. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'll I, just keep coming back and back <laughs> until one of us is dead. I don't know, because she told me she's never even been punched in the face. Like, she just fucking, like, goes at people like a gorilla. Yeah. You know, like, she she doesn't lose fights, so I don't know. That is a tactic. That's what yeah. I did growing up, just like, because I was small, but yeah. I was I was really quick. I knew how to wrestle and stuff. I was strong, but like you know, 135 pounds is 135 pounds. Yeah, you can't just be out there like trading blows. That's it. I I did that to someone. Like this guy was like a a wrestler in high school. He was like all county. Yeah, and like I was like 220 in college, and we were drinking, and like this guy was like, um, like saying like how wrestling is just such a big advantage in a fight and i'm like yeah. i'm like no sizes you know <laughs> like and i'm telling him like dude like you're like 135 pounds i'm like 220 your wrestling would mean shit in a fight and like he, he like i amped him up to the point where he's like all right let's go 
Yeah. Well, let's go. <laughs> and it was it wasn't gonna be like a fight. It was just gonna be like a like a wrestling match. Yeah, yeah. But like, yo, he tried to take me down and I just sprawled and put like all two twenty five on him and like he just fell to the dirt. <laughs> and I was just like messing with him at that point, like messing up his hair. Yeah. You know, like and I just like demoralized him. He, and he got so mad. He probably that probably ruined the rest of his month. He fucking left. He like left the party. <laughs> no, yeah, like left. yo, he fucking got really mad. <laughs> We have 135. That's not a. It's not a lot of man, dude. That's what I'm saying. And it's like I. I was like always bigger. I was like six foot, like two, two ten, two twenty. And, and you weren't just like a two twenty, like stupid dumb retard. No, you were like you know just like a like yeah, I work construction. Yeah, and I, no, uh, like I never my, played a sport in my life. My dad told like. Taught me how to box. Yeah, know? like you, you played lacrosse. Yeah, played sports like I was at a college like athletic two twenty. You know, I took some classes like like jujitsu and fucking muay thai. Like I yeah. never stuck with it. But yeah, like, you were an active athletic yeah, two twenty. That's like, a different fucking ball game. Yeah, I wrestled for like a couple of years. You know, like yeah. I kind of like the you know what a sprawl. You know what a sprawl is. Yeah, you know just. You know that, yeah. So, watch me. I get I get lit up by the construction community. Yeah, because they're like, we're not all retarded. Yeah, we're not retarded. Also, it's not you can't say that anymore. Yeah, you can't say the the R word. Oh, imagine like the construction crew like became like PC. Yeah, like it was just like, hey, you can't say that <laughs> hey, over here in local two twenty nine. You know, like we don't we don't call people the R word. <laughs> Go back down in that tunnel, you, you, you big goof. Yeah, you better get out of here. <laughs> I think that's that's a community community that will never change. I oh, think that's God. what other communities you think will never change. M- most unions, unions, yeah, yeah most unions. unions. Like it, unless like they just get like fucking taken away because yeah. like politicians like are trying to like get like the right to work states. You know. Wait, what? Do you, wait, what do you mean? Well, like a lot of politicians don't like unions. Really? You know? Oh yeah, they don't because like what they like they they kind of well they don't they make less money off of unions clearly. Well, yeah, and it's also like this union doesn't vote for me. You know, like it's, oh, like most okay. mostly like a union is gonna try to vote like as a whole. You know, so like say like my union's like five thousand members. You know, like. 5,000 votes all of a sudden go towards, you yeah. know, Biden because Trump fucking hates unions, you know? Like, I, would, I would imagine, I mean, would unions be a red thing? No. No, no really? Not not typically, you know? Really? Yeah, typically it's a Democrat thing. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I'm, I'm such an But, idiot, like, dude. this is what happens, though, is, like, old boomers, like, in the union, they're just so pro-Trump. Like, mm. they don't even care what the union has to say anymore. They're just, nope, Trump's my guy. Yeah. You know, like, he's the guy. He's going to drain the fucking swamp. Because they're just like, like, the boomers, like. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you like know? at the gas station. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Joe. They put up the stickers at the gas station. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe, Joe. Yeah, dude. And it's, it's like they don't vote with, like, their own wallet. But, like, you know, that's on them. But I, uh, I can't. I don't think I could ever see myself be like really getting into politics. I just yeah. don't because my. I mean, I think a. I grew up. My mom's very right, and my dad's very left. Yeah. So like, I mean, when they get into fights, dude, I mean, they say things that you like cannot take back. Yeah. So you know, I think I just grew up around that, and I was like, ugh. I mean, I don't want. I don't want anything to even do with that. It's kind of right. like having like your parents an alcoholic. Yeah. You're either gonna become that, or you're gonna be like, no, like that, yeah. that's. Yeah, my dad's very political. You know, yeah. he he's one hundred percent right, though. You know, yeah, like he's he's uh, he's um, no, he's left. He's left. So, really? Yeah, he's left. Um, Max left. Left is the fucking Democrats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your dad's left. My dad's left. That's oh, I thought he would have been like a Trump guy. He sounds like he is. Yeah, because he's he's bald. His name's Tony. Yeah, and he's just like, hey. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like most people would think my dad, like, you know, I, would do yeah, that. yeah, I thought he was right. No, nah, he's he's like totally fucking left, and uh, you know, because for the most part, like. Like Hillary Clinton, like came to like our union dinner dance, you know. Like the de- oh shit, okay. the Democrats like have been usually nice to our union, you know, and like they want 
you know, tax cuts for like the middle class and like yeah. like stuff like that. So like like our business agents always tell us to just vote with our wallet. You know, like it, it doesn't it's matter. Smart, you know, it doesn't matter. Like like say you're fucking so anti-abortion, like you yeah. want to vote fucking right. It's like. Well, these guys are going to make you more money. Yeah. You know, so as a union, you should vote for them. Yeah. You know, but like just a lot of the guys like in my union, they don't fucking, they don't do that anymore. It's just like, you know, but like, I don't like to pay attention to the politics. I don't. Too much. It's, it's just not it's my just thing. Like, that's the only thing that'll make a grown adult, like two grown adults fight in the street. Yeah. At, you know, like and two, like 50 year old men. You know what I've noticed is that like politics became like, um, like a, a two team like sporting event yeah it's what it is you it's, know it's like people are just rooting for their guy it's you know? like no one's gonna fix it it's just like no one's we, gonna fix if it if we like boil down baseball to like yankees red sox yeah you know and you're just either a yankees fan or a red sox fan yeah you know and I thought that's all you get yeah you know and it's just like people just vote for their guy no matter what it does. It's just like, well, you know, he's a fucking Republican, so I'm a yeah. Republican, and that's what I'm going to do. Like, I, I think we should all just admit that life is terrifying. Yeah. And let's just try to do the best w- that we can do. We should also fucking stop getting candidates that are like... 70 years old dude what why is that why do have we have no like idea. old ass men i have no idea the one guy from ukraine was like a 45 year old comedian yeah dude like the canadian prime minister like justin trudeau he's just like a fucking yeah. in his 40s like a yeah, handsome he, guy I was gonna say, he's, he's hot right yeah yeah he's a good looking guy yeah it's like let's just get like a hot fucking well that's what person i like that's what i like about Ob- obama like he came off as like a yeah. young like yeah. new presence he was a know? great speaker yeah he, like i was he could tell me he could sell me like a piece of shit oh definitely and i'd be like all right i mean he's got some points yeah you know but it's just like you know even with trump and biden whoever you want to fucking vote for like they're both like i think the way wo- past their fucking prime yeah mentally, you're not gonna yeah you like you, like your brain is not meant to operate at that level at that age no, like, there's no way you know and it's just like like we i would just like a guy like say in his 50s that like if he gets voted fucking two terms he's mm-hmm. like walking out 58 you know, he's still like fucking healthy. You know, like yeah. these guys are like like running at like sixty five, and then like they're ending their presidency at like seventy three years old. Dude, imagine imagine being seventy years old. Yeah, you wake up one morning at, as a seventy year old man, and you get emails, texts. Someone calls. Hey, German was thinking. Germany was thinking about selling you uh, this yeah. amount of missiles, but also um, the, the Saudi Arabians may do this with the oil. Also, if you fuck this up, um, we're all dead. Right. I'd be like, I'm 70 years old. What well, you, that's what I I'm saying. Have, it's like I'm not going to deal with this right now. The presidency is almost just like a fucking figurehead. Like, I, like for Trump and Biden, both of them, I can't see them actually making decisions. You know, yeah. like it's like their team around them. Yeah. You know, because they're just like that fucking old (laughs) you know like our president has to be able to get his dick hard that's what i'm saying like there should be a requirement i want a hard dick president hard dick president i'm enough farting around with these (laughs) soft dick losers these limp dicked debutantes i'm done i want my president yeah they shouldn't need Fucking Viagra. Nah, I want him to be fully hard. I want him fired up. Yeah, fired up, ready to go. <laughs> like Clinton, you know that guy, fucking the hard dick yeah. president, playing the playing the fucking saxophone. Yeah, he was playing the sax, you know, with his sunglasses on SNL. Uh, no, I, I think it was um, I think it was Arsenio, Arsenio Hall. Show. Arsenio, I think that's I what it was Arsenio on Hall. SNL. It's funny because when he did that, I think all the Republicans watching it were like, fuck, we just lost the black people. (laughs) (laughs) Clinton just scooped up every black person in this nation. Just a super cool. Yo, cool thing about SNL, though. Shane Gillis is hosting. Is he? No, dude. Stop it. I swear to God. Gillis is hosting February 24th. SNL. Dude, I'm fucking watching the shit out of that. Dude, it should be, uh, you know. I don't know how great SNL is anymore, but Shane just, Gillis yeah. is fucking hilarious. And, like, I'm just so glad that, like, he went from getting fired to, like, now he's so big that they're like, you want to host? I would be, would you be, uh, now, nah, obviously, you, I mean, I don't know the texts and 
calls and conversations that he's had with them yeah. since he's been fired. But like, imagine like you get fired from a job. Yeah. And then you go back. Fired from a job you, you, that you didn't even get to work. You, you get a, yeah, you get fired from a job, and then they call you back like, "Hey, you're actually a real big deal. We we need you." Yeah, you know that would kind of be like any hey, fucking. I know. I like. I would. Oh, for me, I think I might even like turn it down and like make it public. You know. Like, yeah. Like they wanted me back, and I was like, "Fuck you." I think I probably yeah. I think I'd probably you turn know? it down. Maybe like the first one at least, you know. But like, I I don't know. Like that was like. That must have been so damaging for him, like getting like SNL. Like, oh, it's a huge break, and then getting like fired. That like must have fucked with his like psyche. I'd be like, what am I? What am I, where do I go now? Yeah, I don't know. I want to share one more story because we were talking about yeah, go Republican ahead. stuff. Um, I don't take it seriously at all, politics. Yeah, like, at all. And I remember, so Long Island has this thing called the Republican Club. And uh, so it's pretty much just like, it's like a group that helps you get jobs and whatever. My friend's right. part of it. And it's gotten him a bunch of jobs. One night we were out just drinking, doing blow and just like, and you know, it was one of those, one of those mornings, you know, we were still drinking whiskey yeah. still. Where is this Republican club? This one met in Belmore. Met in Belmore. I remember. And I, and I, I, I walked, I'm like, dude, I cannot go to this Republican meeting right now. Right. I'm, I'm like. On cocaine and I'm drunk. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, Nah, you gotta come. You gotta check it out. So we went and I just walked in there like, <sighs> Oh my god! And they're like, All right, so we're gonna go door to door with these pamphlets and we're just gonna tell the people in the neighborhood and in the area why to keep voting voting Republican. And that's what we want you guys to do. And so I'm shaking people's hands like, I hope we vote vote Republican. And they're like, What is going on with this fucking guy? Holy shit! Ed Mangano walks in. Yeah, and I I. I yeah, you know, I could tell he's an important person. Right. And then uh, my friend's like, oh, it's Ed Mangano. And I was like, oh, shit. I hope he doesn't. I can't. Fuck it. I, I, I got to turn away. I hope Ed Mangano doesn't see me. Yeah. And he's like, no, call him over. Hey, Ed. Ed. <laughs> and I was like, do not call Ed Mangano <laughs> over here. So I'm like, I want thank you for the opportunity, sir. Yeah. And I shake his hand. I'm like sweating. Oh, my God. I have like God. coke in my nostrils. And he yeah. was like, all right. Well, you know what you got to do today, right? And I was like. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I were I was going door to door, like don't forget to vote Republican, and they're oh like, oh my god, the people were like, yeah, like just chewing your face off, like yeah. no, I was at the stage where like you couldn't talk. Oh yeah, I yeah. was at the stage where I've done too much coke. I'm turning the stone. Yeah, and then <laughs> they were like, what is going on with this That's kid? Crazy. That was such an embarrassing moment of my life. It's weird you bring up the Republican <laughs> Club because I think. In college, I used to live in Sayville, and we used to live down a block from a Republican club, and we used to break in there at night and <laughs> steal all the pictures off the wall of, like, the presidents. <laughs> like, <laughs> God damn it! how many times do we got to replace this fucking yeah. thing? They, were, they had, like, no cameras, no security <laughs> system. Like, 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 you fucking Republicans. I, I tell you who do, does have cameras, the Democrat yeah. club. That's who they <laughs> <laughs> they don't go door to door they just do it through email you dude know? people used to come to our apartment <laughs> I, was, I had an apartment with two guys and uh, we just had like pictures of fucking Republican presidents that's hilarious dude. all over the walls that's a hysterical fucking yeah, cause clearly like you're like oh you guys are like going to your house and there's pictures of like George Bush everywhere yeah. and, like, he's being a dick with these he's <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really care. No, it, it's like I don't think this guy votes, dude. Because <laughs> we used to tell stories like to lacrosse team, like about like the apartment that people used to just fucking like, dude. This is hilarious. You got to bring me because like <laughs> we like there was a one bar in like Sayville. It was called the Half Penny Pub, and like oh, on yeah. on the way to the Half Penny Pub from our apartment, we would walk and I would show them and I would be like, all right, here's the Republican Club, here's the gay bar. There, yeah. was, there was a gay bar called the Bunk House, and we would tell these stories about how we were going in. So, like, we used to just, like, like one day we just, like, ran out of money, and we were daring each other. We're just like, all right, like, we still want to drink. Uh, how much to just slap your cock on the gay bar <laughs> 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 and just get free drinks all night? People like, get it out of here. <laughs> dude, dude, so we <laughs> dude, went shit. in. We went in. I swear to God, we were like the fucking bell of the ball. Dude, Dude, they ordered pizzas for us. We Damn. fucking drank like all night. Like 
my one friend I think got roofied. Like, <laughs> dude, it was fucking crazy. And like, um, so then after that, then like, you know, like other guys that came with us that didn't live at the apartment, like they would go and tell the story to lacrosse team. And they're like, I, everybody would just be like, all right, you got to take me to the gay bar and Republican club. Yeah. <laughs> and like, we're like, bringing all you guys, right. Bringing you guys business. Here. Yeah. And we would fucking go and, uh. Dude, it was fucking, it was wild. Dude, it was just like crazy just like walking into the place and just like all of a sudden everybody wants to buy me a drink. How long do you think you'd be able to, okay, so say, hey, one day someone tells you that's the only way you can drink now. It's the only way you can get drinks. If you want to drink, you got to go to a gay bar and you got to flirt and that's how you got to make your keep around here. How long do you think you could keep that up? Uh. I don't know. At least a year or two. <laughs> Just pretending <laughs> to be gay. <laughs> I could definitely pull that off. You, you bump into someone like during the week at Moe's, like, hey, Hugh. I'm like, I don't know who that guy is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, keep it at the bar, fella. That's when, that's when we were dancing. <laughs> oh, Hugh's such a good dancer. <laughs> I'd, be like, I'd be like, fuck, dude. What do you think Marissa would do? Oh, God. <laughs> She would fucking. If she, she'd fight a dude. If you're, she'd fight a dude. You're in Moe's or Seven Eleven or fucking wherever, yeah. and a, a, a very flamboyant homosexual man comes and he's like Hugh, and you're yeah. like, hey, what's going on, brother? You're trying to play it off cool, yeah. but there's no cool with him. And he's like touching your shoulder, and he's <sighs> like, oh, who's this? this? Is Marissa? You were talking about her, right? Let me tell you something about you. He's such a good dancer, so strong too. <laughs> And, it, like, and he's loyal. He just didn't leave me alone the whole night. He made sure I got home okay. <laughs> what do you, Bro, what do you think would, Marissa would do? She would go wild on that gay guy. She would fucking choke him out. She would fucking... He would just be scratched up. Like, oh, my God. It would be like he got into a fight with a bobcat. Oh, my God. He made sure I got home okay. That's the best about him. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I think we got to wrap up, right? Yeah, I guess we got to wrap up. I got to uh, try to find out where this show is. <laughs> yeah, while you're doing that, I'll plug to um, what I got March 8th at the Giggle Room and here in Governors and uh, April 19th, also Giggle Room Governors. Come down to those, govs.com for tickets. You can follow me at The Logic. On most social media, Treading Water podcast, also whatever. Um, so I can't find this flyer right now, but um, just follow me on Trav underscore Grant. I'm gonna post it tonight and obviously tomorrow about like the whereabouts. Are, and are you stuff. on the one with Perillo? No, uh, Lacaruba's thing. Oh, Lacaruba. And then um, if you're in AC, I know people. Hey, you're in AC. Hit me up, guys. If you're in AC, uh, I'm gonna be at Rhythm and Spirits. At uh, eight thirty, the ry- that's rhythm and spirits at eight thirty. I'm gonna be running forty five there, and uh, yes, yeah, so it'll be a longer set. It'll be fun. We'll rock out. Hell yeah! Other than that, um, I'm in the midst of making these films, these these, these stuff, these things. And, Perfect. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know when those come out too. So yeah, Travis underscore Grant. I'll keep you updated. Deuces. <laughs>